day number four. It is called Toasted, and I've got it in some natural light so you can see what the shade is like. It's just a really warm, like tan. It The shadowing is a little off on the video, but it's a really warm tan. I love it. Good morning, happy December 4th. I'm in the same spot I was yesterday. This is my bedroom. <laughs> um, we get really great natural light in our room. Um, so I like to sit here sometimes. And yeah, I am just about to uh, edit yesterday's podcast. I didn't get a chance to edit the entire thing last night. So I'm gonna finish that up and upload it this morning. It's about quarter to nine. We have had a very nice morning together here at home, the three of us. Um, Seaver made uh, Flinzen, which is like German style crepes. Although the recipe he used, he couldn't find my Oma's recipe. So he just looked it up and it had a little bit more sweetness to it. My Oma's recipe is just like, I'm pretty sure it's just equal parts flour, egg, and milk. Um, and then you put, use a little butter on the pan. Um, and then you sweeten it or you, you know, kind of make it your own by putting like jelly or some people do syrup. That's not really like what you normally do. Most people do jelly. I like to sprinkle some sugar and then you roll it up and you eat it. You like cut it with a fork and you eat it. So that's, it's a little bit different than crepes, but we, yeah, you didn't really need too much. I did put a little bit of jelly on them this morning um, because there was a little vanilla and sugar in the batter, which I'm not used to. So I didn't want to like put sugar on it, um, <laughs> any more sugar, but they were very good. Hudson really liked them and it was kind of fun to do something different this morning. So Hudson and Seaver are downstairs playing for a little bit while I, I did a little bit of cleaning and... I'm going to edit a little bit. My sister, my um, brother-in-law, and my nephew are coming over today, so we are very excited to see them. I haven't seen them in a while, um, and I think since Halloween, the weekend of Halloween, or like the weekend before Halloween. So yeah, excited to see them, and Hudson's very excited to play with his cousin, and we're going to have a really fun day today. I forgot to mention on Vlogmas that I have a Legacy Fiber Arts yarn countdown as well. Um, this is their very Dickens Christmas um, like micro sock sets that there are four of them counts down to Christmas. Um, I think it's supposed to be on each Sunday of Advent but this year Christmas lands on a Sunday and so it's a little bit confusing about the Sundays of Advent. I mean, yeah, not really because Christmas doesn't count as a Sunday of Advent, but still there's four of them and then the last one says Merry Christmas. So I am saving that one for Christmas day. Um, and then I'm doing the other three, like the weeks leading up until Christmas. So today for me is week one. I know some people have already opened theirs, but I saved it for this, this Sunday. And, um, I'm very excited. These are sock sets where it's a 50 gram main color and then a 20 gram mini that goes along with it. Um, yeah, I talk about it a little bit more in the podcast episode that has never been uploaded, <laughs> but I also got, let me see if I can open this with one hand. Oh, there it is. I got a little progress keeper. That is a candle. Let's see if it will... My face isn't there. And it's too, too small. Um, but it's super, super cute. Oh, geez. Okay, so I'm going to open this and then I will show you what it looks like. So here it is. This is week one. I am I love it so much. This is called Christmas Past. 
Um, and the Dickens Christmas, they said, was mostly going to be based on A Christmas Carol, which is, of course, Dickens' most famous Christmas story. He has others, but we don't really know them very well. Um, I personally, I love Dickens. I studied him in college. I took a semester-long, like, intensive seminar on Dickens where we read more Dickens books and essays than you'd think possible in, like, a four-month period. Um, did a lot of research and yeah, I'm just kind of obsessed. I still am. I have actually, I'm reading another Dickens biography right now. Um, he just, he fascinates me. He's such a dynamic person and character and had so many sides to him, good and bad. Um, and his writing is just, yeah, I just, I just love I love it and I love my favorite Christmas movie is Muppets Christmas Carol. Um, I personally think it's the best version of that in a way. One of the reasons being they take quotes directly from the book and Gonzo, this sounds so silly, but Gonzo is, he plays Charles Dickens in it and he's kind of the narrator and I love that they added a narrator to that because so much of the brilliance of that book and that story is the narration that's going on within, you know, it's not just the dialogue, it's not just the action, it's the commentary that Dickens himself is doing like in the background. And so the fact that they have Dickens kind of throwing in some commentary throughout the movie it just makes it so amazing. And then the man who plays Scrooge, I can't remember his name, Michael something, I think. Um, he was in like the Batman movies. Um, he's a famous actor. Oh my god, Michael something. Anyway, <laughs> so good. So I love, I love this so much. This is Ghost of Christmas Past and it is so perfect. So incredibly perfect. <laughs> are drying out so I'm like having a hard time keeping my eyes open but <laughs> um, Hudson went to sleep um, he had a hard time settling down tonight and I think it was because we've just had a really busy weekend and there's been so much excitement and fun and um, just a little bit of not overtired because he both days he had really great naps but um, I think just coming down off of that off of like playing and he, he did have sugar today more sugar than he usually does he had like two and a half cookies I think of those cookies I showed you they're so good we make those almost every year it's my grandma's recipe for we call them peanut butter blossoms I don't know what other people call them but that's what we call them and they are they're the best versions of those cookies I've ever had they don't get crispy. I'm not really a fan of those cookies when they're like hard, like crispy, crunchy peanut butter cookies. Like these are so soft, melt in your mouth. They're so good. I also had two-ish 
I gave Hudson a half of one after dinner um, because he was just so excited about them. And then I ate the other half. So I think I had like two and a half of them. Oh my God, I could eat the whole, the whole lot. <laughs> See for when he gets home, he's at work right now. When he gets home, he is going to eat, I don't know how many, a couple probably before bed and a couple when he wakes up because those are some of his favorites too. Um, anyway, I just thought I would come on here and just say goodnight. We had a great day. It was a lot of fun, but I am beat and I'm ready to edit this vlog and upload it maybe. Hopefully if I get it done in time and then go to sleep. I'm very sleepy, but I love, oh, look how festive that is. So beautiful. Anyway, I hope you all had a great weekend and have a great week ahead and I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Bye.